All right, so this is iNav Configure 3.0. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up VTX power on a switch on iNav. It's a little different and I guess easier than Betaflight having to do it through CLI. You just go to the Adjustments tab, you enable it, then you put the channel that you want to use to, to switch it. I'm using channel 8, then I'm using my dial. If you can see, I can just smoothly move it to whatever mount if I wanted to make a whole bunch of different changes. but. I noticed that when I put slot one, slot floor, it cycled through all the channels. So I just did high and it starts, I have it go up a little bit past halfway because there's a click and a half that it'll stay at. And then if I click it all the way down, it'll go to power level one, 25 millimeters. I keep it in the middle, it doesn't switch channels. So now I can click it up a little, it'll go up one channel, put it back to the middle. Um, you click here, scroll through the list, find VTX uh, power, band adjustment uh, I put slot 4 because so when I go up it'll go it'll slowly cycle through powers till it gets to t max power uh, that one I put slot 1 so at the low setting it'll slowly slot through and then I just put via channel 8 because that says that's the channel that's gonna switch it but I don't know I have both of them channel 8 because I'm, I'm not sure I didn't play around with it I guess you could set it up that that it would be the arm switch and then channel 8 checks it when it's armed but that's it right there that's how you put the power right, on a switch all right so i have the channel 8 i have it on s1 my dial because um, that's what i have it on my other ones but Normally, the way I have it set up was, depending on what spot I get on the dial, is what VTX power I have. The lowest on the dial would be 25, then if I turned it up some, it would go to 200, the middle of the dial would be like 400, and then if I went past that, it would be 800, but it seems this just cycles down and up in power levels, so I just have low and up, but I wanted to keep the switches the same. Um, I might change it to the drone has to be armed for for the change VTX powers, but I'm not because this way I can make sure it's on low power when I land if I want to just sit on low power. All right, so that's how I set it up. All right, so here I go and test it. It's working. Um, I turned it down you can see it's blinking and it's not changing because the drone's not armed it's stuck in low power mode uh, just to make sure I... so now I armed it override the satellite safety armed the drone and now you see it's at three I can bring it back down to one if I turn the dial up you see it cycles through the powers I can go back down to one but I also notice I can turn it and flip right back to middle and it stops cycling so I can also select any power I want um, it might be easier on a switch it's just my other drones are all on the dial so I just muscle memory 